Let's now just take a quick check on the teams. And Bill Shankly has decided to rely on the Liverpool side that won 2-0 against Arsenal at Highbury last Saturday. That means that Tommy Smith, currently out of favour, isn't in fact even in the 16 for this match. And the two youngsters will carry a lot of the weight in midfield. That's number 8, John McLaughlin, who's 21, and number 4, Phil Thompson, who's 19. But there's no shortage of experience in the side. Chris Lawler, in fact, is playing his 55th consecutive game in Europe for Liverpool and Ian Callaghan who wears number 11 is a survivor of Liverpool's first ever European Cup tie at Reykjavik nine years ago the Red Star side shows one change from the team that won in Belgrade a fortnight ago because they've had an injury to their right back and so Jovanovic comes in in his place. They're missing Zajic, the famous Yugoslav winger, because he's doing his military service. But we've got in the number 11 shirt the teenage sensation of Yugoslav football, Vladimir Petrovic, known as Little Pigeon, made his international debut against Hungary in September and since then has played against Spain in a World Cup qualifying tie. So Liverpool kick off. Rudy Glockner from East Germany, the referee, making himself felt in the first ten seconds, giving a free kick to Liverpool, or in the dark strip, that's all red. Number 11 here is Ian Callaghan. And a packed cop behind the goal at Liverpool attack. They tend to prefer to kick into it in the second half, but this is a match in which they'll need to attack throughout one suspects Callaghan Lawler put out a play by Dojinovsky Red Star come here having won 5-2 in their league at the weekend Chris Lawler's cross Petrovic goalkeeper also named Petrovic but they're not related Seven is Jankovic. And this is the other Petrovic, Oynjan Petrovic. Yugoslav's reserve goalkeeper at Wembley. Karazi's header, Lloyd. Simovic to Lazarevic. Karazi. Bogicevic going forward. Jankovic. Two men in the middle, now three. Jankovic delayed his cross so long that Lindsay was able to shut all the angles for him. Played back quickly to Bogacevic. Jankovic again with room to cross this time. Hughes, he hasn't got it clear. Marvellous save by Clements from point blank range. Red Star play some good football in tight situations. They judge their first-time passes well. This is Atsimovic now to Lazarevic. Jankovic didn't catch it. Bogicevic challenging Toshak to come and get it. That's Red Star's prerogative with a 2-1 lead from the first leg. Petrovic couldn't do more than get it out to Jankovic. Petrovic again, but he had his own man in the way. Jankovic. And now here's Pavlovic. Liverpool back in numbers to cover. Pavlovic knowing now his best chance is a corner. And all he gets is a throw. Simovic to Karazi and back again. Good play by Red Star. Simovic still going on. Two tackles there didn't find their mark. That's Arevich. Move has slowed down. Thompson to Callaghan. Liverpool have pulled nine men back then. This is McLaughlin. Toshak out on the left touchline. Callaghan won it, highway, Thompson to his right, number four. And the Liverpool 
passing, not very penetrative when it gets to the penalty area. Highway. Hughes. Tucked through now for Keegan. Full back to Tushar. Really beautiful football here by Red Star and Jankovic finding some space for himself. Atimovic! Vatsarevic, Pavlovic. Kolchinovsky, Liverpool finding it difficult even to win, win the ball, let alone set up attacks. Must be a dozen passes the Yugoslavs have put together. Dogicevic back to Karazi. Petrovic rather ominous silence settling over this Anfield crowd Pavlovic Petrovic what a lovely dummy by Karazi that made it for him and here's Karazi again Petrovic Oh my word, that was real football. Lindsay's free kick. Aim for Toshak's head. For once he had a clear header. Welcome back to Anfield and the talk around this ground at half time has been of apprehensive admiration. It's Red Star kicking off in this second half and not a great deal from the first 45 minutes to encourage Liverpool fans. In their favour is Liverpool's tremendous reputation on their own ground. In their last 100 games here, they've been beaten only five times. McLaughlin, good ball to Toshak who's onside. McLaughlin streaking back into the middle, good catch by Petrovic all the time they need unless Liverpool can strike quickly. It's Toshak again, but coming up under it instead of going up. The four men in the penalty area and two just outside it for Liverpool. Lloyd. It's not yet clear. Toshak under it. Keegan hunting. Toshak! The goalkeeper beat it down. Callagher. Toshak, Keegan coming in. Liverpool now beginning to buzz. Highway, good save by Petrovic. So we're now two thirds of the way through this game. Still no score here at Anfield. Liverpool desperate for a goal. Atsimovic. Jankovic on for Lazarevic. Beautiful goal! That's done it. On the break here. A nice little touch through by Jankovic. And Lazarevic doesn't take any time to size it up. It was swinging in, beating Clements' right hand. And now Liverpool must score twice, even to force extra time. A superb goal, and one of which Red Star have looked capable throughout this game. In ten years of European competition, Liverpool have only been beaten twice by one team over a two-leg tie, and that was by Ferenc Varas. Highway now with this corner. Goalkeeper didn't get to that, and he's now gone back on his line. Turned by Keegan, and he's got it in! It's, no, it hasn't been given! It looked to me as though it was in. Here it comes again. We'll need to look closely at this. That's Keegan's shot through the goalkeeper's legs. And that surely was over the line. Oh, that really must have been over the line. Well, it didn't count. The referee is the one who has to say. But for my money, that was a goal. Left hand upright covered. Clements at the far post. And a fine save he made to get down to the left upright from 
a very good shot indeed by Petrovic. Petrovic striking it round the wall, and that was a superb save by Clements. Lindsay could well play it back to Hughes, who was in space then. Plenty of players trying to get under this. Lawler did. Goalkeeper didn't touch it, or certainly not before it went out from Lawler's header. So it's a goal kick. Goods, Keegan. 15 minutes gone to go. Toshak at the back of the penalty area there, and another fine save by Petrovic. Thompson. Egan coming to meet this, the goalkeeper hasn't got it, Toshak off the line by, uh, by Bogicevic. And it'll be 13 minutes of non-stop endeavour from Liverpool, they're built that way. Lloyd's header, Keegan couldn't get to it. Hacked away anywhere by Jovanovic. Thompson. Hughes, Keegan. Toshak. Callaghan to Thompson. Toshak. Lawler. Yes! The old maestro yet again. So much deliberation. Just watch Lawler turn on this. Chest it down. Bang! Goalkeeper gets his hands to it, pushes it against the underside of the bar. And that's one all. Referee gesturing, I think, that he's adding time on. But will he add on enough? Can there be enough time for Liverpool to get the goal they need? Three minutes left now. Keegan. Dojanovski clear, but Lawler. To Borsman. Lindsay outside it. There's the ball for Lindsay. Needs a quick cross. And there it goes. It's a good one. Toshak. Goalkeeper caught well again. Petrovic Karazi. Petrovic. Itzimovic. Karazi calling for it. Itzimovic just playing come and get me football. And he's been fouled by Thompson. Karazi over the ball. Bogicevic coming up. Number three. Half a minute now. Something to be added on, but not a great deal. Oh, yes! What a tremendous shot from Jankovic! And really no chance at all there for Clemens from that tremendous free kick. Jankovic congratulated by all his team. Petrovic came out from his goal. And really that was an absolute stunner. And there is the final whistle. Red Star Belgrade have become the second team to beat Liverpool over two over both legs of a European game. Having won 2-1 in Belgrade. They repeat the score here at Anfield, and one can only say that it's going to take a very good side to stop them in the European Cup now. They're into the quarter-finals, and on their performance tonight, they're there on merit, and there on the strength of this stunning last shot. The free kick from Jankovic, hit with his right foot, and to a shot like that, there is just no answer. So, having taken their applause from the cop, 
Liverpool acknowledge that they've been beaten by a better side. And what a very good...